What's going on guys? It is your motivation guy. The one and only Keith Allen from my house on my couch, man. And we're bringing this to you because we believe in you guys. Uh, I'm so excited about, you know, what we're doing here at Pro Guys, man. So many great things. But anyways, man, I just want to encourage you like I want you to set your goals like super high. Don't ever give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on, you know, your vision, like no matter how big you think it is. Okay. So believe for the impossible. You can do it. I believe in you guys. And he's earned his team another point as well for placement. Saf continues to do it. He's dropping him down. Saf with another. Oh my God. Oh my God. Saf. So going pro in Fortnite, man, it is a long, difficult journey. I mean, it really, really is. But, you know, you can make it, you know, if you give it your all. You know, thousands of people have tried. And really only a few people have actually really gotten pro. But the people who make it, persevere the people who make it don't give up the people who make it have a strong mindset not to give up just because things get hard you know we have experts here at pro guys that are going to that that helped us um in this video today give you guys the inside scoop on how to go from average to a pro player so for our question of the day this is our question of the day you know why do you want to go pro like what's what's driving you what is your fuel um, what captivates you? What is your purpose? So, you know, let me know in the comments down below on why you want to go pro. I'm really curious to find out. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, I'm on my couch and I'm feeling so comfortable. So it's time to scream this out with me, man. It's time to sit back. Come on, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. I got this bag right here. It's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. And also, if you want some inside tips on how to improve even further, from advanced building and editing tips to game sense and scrim tricks or anything else, yo, we got you covered. Alongside our exclusive written content and courses, we also have 24-7 on-demand coaching from pro players to give you guys an edge. So if you want to take your next step on your Fortnite journey, head on over to ProGuides.com today. So having a bad mentality in Fortnite is easily like one of the biggest setbacks for the average player, right? Put simply, like if you think bad, you're going to play bad. When it comes to your mentality, there's one mindset that's going to set you guys ahead, but it's going to take time to practice and learn. This mindset, guys, I'm talking about today is called the improvement mindset. Essentially, like what you want to do with the improvement mindset is train your brain not to get mad all the time. and instead use every single death, every single loss as an opportunity to learn and improve as a player. Because, you know, the harsh truth is this, every time you die, you did something wrong in some way, right? And every single game, you don't literally get first place. Eliminating every single other player in the lobby with perfect headshot accuracy, you know, within the literal seconds of landing, there's something that you can find and improve. The goal, you know, with this mindset is to stop getting mad, stop tilting, stop raging or whatever, and just rewire our brain to think positive and just really look at where we can improve. Instead of just sitting there and just getting mad all the time, you know what I mean? Like we can improve. My man! The issue is this, it's a long and difficult process to employ this mindset. Unless you have like an insane just amount of self-discipline because you know, to employ this mindset, you know, simply just do it. You know, for a while you're still gonna get mad, I get it. But if you truly wanna improve and really care about being the best and not just trying to fuel your own ego by playing, it'll eventually fall into place. So overall, if you try, you know, just try your best to just use this mindset every single time you die. And eventually after enough, you know, repetition and just doing it over and over again, your brain is going to begin to do this on its own. This is a great mindset because it's a sort of all in one package. You know, you'll reduce anger until increase your motivation and you're going to improve at the game <laughs> at the same time. All right, guys, second up, we've got scheduling and efficiency. So contrary to what, you know, most of you guys think going pro in Fortnite doesn't actually take, you know, 12 hours, 10 hours or even eight hours a day. All right. In fact, you can honestly go pro in Fortnite with as little as three or four hours a day. OK, so the key to do this is just being efficient. You know, if you're messing around and doing useless stuff, but you're playing 10 hours a day, you won't get nearly as far as someone who does, you know, focused and intense practice for even one hour. So to maximize the efficiency of your practice, there are three different steps. 
steps. All right, so the first one is this, setting a schedule. All right, many of us are sitting at home right now, so this should be easy. <laughs> Whether you play two hours or 10 hours per day right now, like have a set schedule for everything. In your schedule, include ample time for everything that you wanna practice and balance it to just maximize your benefit, right? All right, so let's go over a quick example of schedule. An example might be like this. All right, so in the morning, you get up at 7.30, which I know most of you guys probably get up at 12.30, but whatever. All right, you get ready and then you go to school, you know, or work until four. All right, this is obviously when everything starts back. Once you get home at four, you spend two hours working, you know, on whatever you need to finish up, right? And then you just hop on at four night at six. So you spend four hours on four night each day. You began with the 20 minute practice routine in Kovacs Aim Trainer, and then you move on to free building and creative for another 10 minutes to get some practice building and editing in, right? Along with the decent warm up, and you're gonna be ready to play. From here, and I mean like right here, you're gonna spend 15 minutes box fighting against players from a scrim discord and another 15 minutes doing build fights both to strengthen your mechanics and then once you're all done and creative you're gonna head into arena and just grind out some solo games for like an hour in these games you're gonna focus on getting into engagement and practicing your fights after this take a 10 minute break just to clear your head you know uh get some water you know a snack whatever okay so from right here you're gonna spend 15 minutes vod reviewing your games and just seeking out like what you can improve on after your quick vod review session write down everything you found and just head into your solo scrims for the next hour or 30 minutes playing for mostly like in game you know just to practice those stack tournament games finally all the way at the end you're going to spend another 15 minutes vod reviewing and just taking notes and just wrap it up for the night all right, so let's just think about this for a second. In four hours, what was accomplished? Aim training, building, and editing practice, right? Box fights, build fights, and an hour of arena W key and fighting practice. An hour and a half of scrims and 30 minutes worth of VOD reviewing. So most people wouldn't get half of this done in a 10 hour session. That's the beauty of structure and efficiency, right? With the schedule. So even if you don't have any time constraints, right? Just having solid structure in your routine. Yo, that's gonna help motivate you guys like a lot and just really get a lot better practice and really improve like exponentially more than you ever have. All right, guys, so moving on from having structure, I like to discuss something that, you know, you may have heard in the last section called VOD reviewing. Do you have floppers? Do you have floppers? It's the final thing. Okay, after that, it's a decision, right? You're either staying in zone or and you're playing heel game and Boogie's going to go down or we both have to dive in at the same time. So VOD reviewing basically refers to this, all right? Rewatching gameplay to spot mistakes and improve on your weak points, or just to see like what a pro player does, you know, so that you can just replicate it. Essentially, okay, there are two types of VOD reviews. Third person, which is just watching another player, and first person, which is watching yourself. If you wanna learn new tactics and strategies you can implement into your gameplay, you know, a third person VOD review is definitely for you. On the other hand, if you want to spot your mistakes, you know, in your gameplay and just improve on them, a first person VOD review is definitely best for you. Any top player is going to tell you how crucial it is to just do both of these things. And each of these VOD review styles are extremely important to learn and improve at Fortnite. So we're not going to go too much in depth here, but you know, if you want to learn more about VOD reviewing and just like how you can do it yourself to improve and learn, we've got you covered. In the description down below, we're going to throw in a link to a video from a few months ago where we covered every single thing you need to know about VOD reviewing. And hey, like while you're down there, check out the links on our Instagram as well, Facebook, Twitter, you know, where we just usually post updates and extra content content for you guys to enjoy. You know, shameless plug. All right, guys, so you set up an amazing practice program, right? And you have the perfect mentality, right? VOD reviewing your games and those are the pros and you're improving at a crazy rate. Good for you. That's that's awesome. I'm proud of you. But I told you, Pro Guys has you covered. So all the more reason to subscribe, right? All right, so the next step is to move up in the ranks. And who wants to do that? All right, so once you're completely confident in your skills and you're ready to take the next leap of faith, you're going to move to the next level. All right, so to move up in the ranks in Fortnite, there are multiple things that you can do. The first is called a ladder, and it's featured in a number of big scrim servers like East Open, you know, EU Open, Atlantis, and others. Basically, a ladder is a series of three to five days, you know, usually like four to five hours per day of just straight up tournament style gameplay. And usually the top 10 to 30 players at the end of the ladder rank up. If you play enough of these and just rank up high enough, you can reach higher leagues and eventually unlock better scrims against pro players in the coveted pro server simply named the practice server so you know that's the most elite server of all and really it's accessible to anybody if you just simply grind your way up 
The second option is to simply just play in tournaments in the game. You know, with FNCS, you know, daily dual cups, solo cash cups, and more all over the place, you know, even though the prize pools are nuts at the moment, now is really a great time just to hop in these open tournaments and just prove yourself by placing higher. And honestly, if you can begin placing pretty high in these tournaments and just gathering some attention, you're gonna be reaching that pro level in no time. All right, so now that we're getting into the nitty gritty stuff, the information that you guys wanna know if you manage to go you know, through with it all and reach a professional level, right, is coming up. This section is about teams and orgs. First off, like if you're a pro player, don't join any teams for no benefits. That's the first huge issue, right? And really one too many up and coming players get stuck at that. You know, orgs are supposed to benefit you while not taking too much from you. Usually a team you know, will offer a salary to play under their name, sometimes taking a portion of your earnings, sometimes not. And it's really up to you to decide if it's worth it. You know, other teams might be more of a clout team and not offer direct salary, but, you know, good publicity and attention and potentially some connections in pro teams that might will be able to take you to the next step. These teams are still great and can offer great benefits if they, you know, have enough of a good reputation and following, especially if you create content and you're trying to grow that as well. So this is all the stuff to keep in mind if you end up considering joining a team. Finally, guys, okay, so once you've grinded your way up and it's all working out, which is gonna take a very long time and it's gonna be a difficult process, can't lie about that, but you know, you can do it. You need to keep up that motivation and that grind to keep listening to your motivation guy, you know what I'm saying? Pro players see, you know, so much success and they have so much motivation and then it all comes crashing down when they suddenly don't feel it anymore. No! No! No, 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 why, 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 why? This might even happen if you're at a lower level or you're just grinding your way up. The best way to avoid losing motivation is to remember, you know, what do you want? And like, why do you want it? Like, what is the purpose? Like, what is the end game here, right? Whether you keep it in your mind or you just write it in a permanent marker across your entire wall, which you probably shouldn't do if you live still with your parents. But you get what I'm saying. You just have to like have it stamped in your mind, man. Like stamped, you know, like your motivation behind it. Essentially, you know, you just want to keep in mind that, you know, you're working towards like why you want it. Like however you need to do this, you got to do it. If you keep up the motivation and continue to grind, you should be fine. All right, so going pro in Fortnite, it is really difficult. You know, it can be draining and it can be a long process. But, you know, if you manage to break through the barrier and succeed, you're going to be so proud and the grind is going to pay off. If I can give you guys one more piece of advice, you know, before heading out, it's to keep your motivation and just really to keep grinding. But don't let it control your life. Be sure to maintain balance, all right? And do other things to balance your life out. That's really gonna help you guys in the long run. You know, a player who has an outside life that they enjoy and plays five hours a day, honestly, they're gonna see more success than someone who just sits down all day and does nothing except playing Fortnite. I know like with the virus going on and all this stuff, you know, it can be really difficult, you know, more than ever, but you still have to do your best, right? You still have to find balance. Whether it's going for a 10 minute walk around the block, you know, going for a drive or just hanging out with family, make sure to make maintain the balance and enjoy your life even while you're playing on Fortnite, right? Trust me, you'll thank me later. So with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on that journey to becoming a pro player as well, all right? You can do it, man. I believe in you guys. If you enjoy our content here on Pro Guys channel and you want to see more of it, it would mean a ton, a bunch, like a bunch of crunch if you could subscribe and you could drop a like, all right? If you want some more pro secrets and strategies, our website, ProGuys.com, has you guys covered, all right? Finally, if you want to support us even further, you can use code ProGuys in the Fortnite shop as well. And with that being said, man, I want you guys to keep growing, keep grinding, and to never Never give up, man. I believe in you guys. I am your number one fan. Once again, this is your guy. That's right. Your motivation guy. The one and only. Your friend, Keith Allen. Follow me on my Instagram. I would love to connect with you at your motivation guy. Peace.